Okay, so here what I've done is cut a piece out of a larger piece of poster board. I just pick it up at the dollar store. You can sure use a cereal box or cracker box, whatever you've got lying around. And then I bought this beautiful flannel that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was a super sale, like 40% off. And so I'm just kind of making sure this fits before I hit it with the glue gun. And I usually glue the spine down first. And I go a little bit at a time because hot glue dries so quickly and I like to press it down so that it doesn't make it kind of bumpy because it can dry and be kind of thick. So um, that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to work my way out from the center. And I have just found that that works the best. Um, when I've tried to glue it from one of the ends in, sometimes it just doesn't line up as well. And so I usually make like two or three passes at a time, and then I rub my material over it again so that it's not real bumpy. So you'll just see me kind of working it around and getting it on there. So I'm getting really excited about fall. How about you guys? Have any have any of you started decorating yet? It is so tempting to put all of my stuff out, but we are kind of having a little bit of a Indian summer here. So we went from kind of seemed like fall with all the wind and it, the temperature's really cooled, but now it's nice and warm again. So it seems like we're definitely having the last of summer. So. I am definitely getting ready for some fall decor and planning some really fun things to do with some florals and some wreaths. And I always usually put lights in mine as well because it starts getting dark early. And so whenever I decorate, I like to have a little bit of a lighted area, just like on my buffet or on some of my shelves because then it just seems warm and cozy instead of being depressed that summer's gone. Do any of you do that? You kind of mourn the end of summer, that's me. Oh, so many people just love fall, and I do, once it's here, I'm all into the pumpkin and spice and the lattes and stuff, but I tell you, I love summer. I don't know what it would be like, though, to live in an area that's summer all year round. I think maybe I would just start taking it for granted. Maybe part of the reason I love it so much is because I know I have to enjoy it before it's gone, so. Okay, so this is coming along pretty nicely, and you can just see that I'm just working my way around one side all the way down and then the other. Now, this material was just a little bit thin, and so I was noticing that the glue was showing through just a little bit um, through this thin flannel, but that's okay because we are not done. We're just getting started here. I'm going to put a ton of stuff on the cover. I always do. And um, before you know it, this will just basically be the background that shows. So, But this cover turned out really nice, so I'm really excited to share with you uh, how it came out. So keep watching, and I hope you're making yours alongside me. Okay, so you can see here that the measurements for this are not super exact, and that's totally fine. Um, and then I always start gluing again in the center on the spine here, and then I work my way out. Um, I've just found that it works out better. Everything goes down a little smoother if I work in where it bends. So here I am just kind of folding it, making sure it's going to work, because this material has a little give to it, but if you're using paper, it doesn't. And so, just out of habit, I'm kind of doing it this way. And then you'll see me, I'm going to glue all this down, and then I'm just gonna trim this as I go. 
so that I'm kind of wrapping it like a present. I'm going to trim these little corners off. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm literally babysitting my beautiful little granddaughter. She's almost six months old. She's sleeping in my arms. And I am just adding a voiceover to this because my daughter is um, teaching a Bible study right now. And the baby was crying, so I thought, well, I'm going to go back in her nursery and just rock her to sleep. And so here we are. <laughs> and so I'm back here thinking, I will just make good on this time and get you guys a video. But I really encourage you to um, do a fall journal. And you know why? It's the perfect time of year to really think about all the things we're thankful for and to really enjoy each season in life as well as the seasons if you live where there are four seasons. Um, I've kind of had to teach myself not to pout when summer's over. So if you're like me, just go ahead, give in, and enjoy every season. Find the joy there. So here I am just cutting these, and I am totally eyeballing this. It does not have to be perfect because, once again, this is also going to get covered up. So you'll see as I go along here. Okay, so what you see here is I've got my centerpiece for the front. It's this cute little coffee cup backed by that material that I told you is kind of like a canvas material. And now I'm just going to fringe the edges with a Cricut tool on this little uh, silicone coaster. It'll just give it kind of a little rough hewn look. I think that'll be really nice. Now for the inside part of the cover. This is a beautiful piece of paper. These digitals are all in the kit and for mine, I decided I would just add a little ink around the edges. You don't have to add ink, but I just think it looks good, especially if you're doing kind of a rustic or uh, antique look. And so I'm going to fit this in here. And again, part of this will get covered as well. But I just want to make sure that it's folded, kind of like how you do the pages in the cover, so that you're leaving a wide enough area for your spine here. And you'll just kind of see how I do this. Um, and then again, when I glue this down, now that this is paper, you know, it's not going to stretch. So I'm going to be a little more careful. And I am going to start with having the spine glued down in place first and then kind of work my way out. Now what I've done is I backed my little centerpiece here with some dimensional foam tape and you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and just kind of place all of the pieces here and just make sure it fits and that I get the placement just right on this cup. And then what I usually like to do with this foam tape is add just a little bit more stick to it. And so I'm going to be adding a little bit of hot glue here. And I've already peeled the back off of these. Especially when it's going on to material, I just think the foam tape needs a little bit of help. And I just picked that foam tape up at um, Dollar Store. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my title. 
and the same thing here. I took all this into Cricut Design Space, and um, I just made the just the cup larger so that it would take up enough space on the front of this journal, and then uh, the letters I just did in Cricut Design Space. Those obviously are not already in the kit, and I've decided to call this journal "Fill My Cup, Lord." There's a beautiful song. Um, that's called just that. And so a lot of times um, when I think of, of this song and how the Lord fills my cup, it's when I come to him and I pray and I read the Bible. And then um, the way the Lord blesses us throughout the day is he doesn't just give you what you want. However, the Lord does give you what you want. But that's not the only thing he does. And a lot of times what you think you want, he doesn't give you because he knows you you don't really need it or it's not what he has in mind for you when you lean into him and trust him. So that's what this journal is about, Fill My Cup. And you know, I feel like I'm very blessed. And so that's just a great title for a journal that I'm going to be putting lots of thanks in and recording my blessings in. Cute little pumpkin here. This was in the kit also. And of course I love that little aqua color to it. So I'm going to tuck that in right there. And now I think I'm just going to add this um, little bit of trim because you know me, I've got to add some teal in here. A little bit of aqua. I think it looks so good with the fall color scheme. And this particular little ribbon is so cute and look, it just kind of has kind of a cozy feel because it's a felt ribbon. Velvet, it's a velvet ribbon. And then I love this trim as well. It can look like little snowballs, it does come in white, but it comes in all kinds of colors and it's just kind of this little bubble um, trim. Goes with just about any type or style of a card, journal, whatever you're making. And I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. The um, hmm, the velvet one, I think I got at a local craft store here. Um, but I may have also picked that up on Amazon. So if you're looking for something like that. So I always take, um, this is just a silicone mat that I picked up so I don't get glue on my countertop. And I just discovered that everything sticks to it, which isn't what I want. So I just keep that little lint roller handy and it works great on it. Just picks everything right up. So I've decided I'm gonna glue these together and then put them on my journal. And that way I think there's a little bit less chance of messing this up. They're kind of skinny, so it made a little, little bit more tricky, but I think it's gonna look really cute on here. Then I just need to attach it to the edge of the journal. And again, I'm just using hot glue here. And I wanna keep this really close to the edge because of the placement of this little pumpkin and I want it to hang over the edge and it's not real long. So I think this is gonna be perfect placement for it. And I just go a little bit at a time because I am just never fast enough for hot glue. If I do like the whole thing, part of it's dried before I get it placed. So that's just a little tip. I don't know if my, if there's a type of hot glue that dries a little slower but mine is so fast i can't move fast enough sometimes other times i'm really thankful that it is that fast okay so here it is i'm loving the shimmer with the velvet ribbon and the pumpkins inside gotta decide what to do there on the back i'm gonna put the song fill my cup lord on the back so here i'm just roughing up the edges of the paper and then I'm actually going to go ahead and crumple this up. And that will just give me some more visual interest when I go to um, add the ink. 
and it'll just give it kind of weathered, aged appearance. It won't look anything like this when I get done with it. See how I'm just kind of tearing it ever so slightly and then just kind of bending those little tear marks one way and then the other. And I'm just getting it ready to receive the ink. Takes a little extra work, but I think it's worth it, especially since it's going on the cover. So I'm just going to go around this whole thing and keep doing this. And then you'll see that the ink just grabs every little blemish that I purposely made. And I'm going to start off with a brush. And as I um, kind of brush it across, you'll see the wrinkles just take on the ink so beautifully. And I'm also just going to change this whole background color since it's white. I'm not really enjoying that too much because it just doesn't go with the rest of what we've got going on. So I'm going to just color this. This is called Vintage Photo and it's a Distress Ink. And some areas will be a little bit more dark than others. Then I'm just going to take um, my sponge and go around the edges. And when I get to the areas where I have just torn it, I just kind of rub it in there and bend it around. Just kind of mush it in there really good and get that color in. Okay, so I finished distressing this piece and I thought I would read it to you. It's called Fill My Cup, Lord. And it reads like this. Like the woman at the well, I was seeking for things that could not satisfy. And then I heard my Savior speaking, draw from my well that never shall run dry. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. There are millions in this world who are craving the pleasure earthly things afford, but none can match the wondrous treasure that I find in Jesus Christ, my Lord. So my brother, if the things this world gave you leave hungers that don't pass away, my blessed Lord will come and save you if you kneel to him and humbly pray. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting in my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. That is just beautiful. So many times people try all kinds of things before they try Jesus. And if that's you today, just do what this song says. Kneel and humbly pray and ask the Lord to come into your life and fill your cup. Okay, so let's attach this. Now that it's all distress, I want to put that on the back. And I think that'll just be so perfect right there. I always bind my journals with this elastic cord. And sometimes I leave it hanging on the outside like this so that I can add some decoration. And so I'm using these really beautiful beads. They have just like a hint of teal in them, and then they're kind of marbled. There's some of that orangish brown, and I'm just going to use a bead threader um, for some of this because it's kind of thick and it helps me work it through, and it's just a wire with a loop at the top to poke through the bead, and then I just drag the um, little bit of elastic through it. A little easier said than done. But I do manage to get them on here and it's worth the trouble because then I don't have to adapt it in any other way. So here I'm just going to use pliers and work it through gently. There it goes. So if you guys are like me and you just insist on putting beads on rope or wire or something that's too thick, well then try one of these bead threaders.
Okay, so there it is with the beads. I'm loving it. This was such a fun cover to make. I love the way it turned out. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you next time.